Welcome into the channel, everybody. I'm so happy to have you in here today. We're gonna go over a fall haul that I curated just for you. These are gonna be fall and winter items that I picked out just for you that I've thrifted over the past two weeks. In this video, you can expect to see the items I pick up and sell, how much I buy them for, and how much I'll be listing them for. If you're fairly new to reselling or been reselling a while, I highly suggest you watch two videos I just put out recently. One is my brand new photo station that I just built. I will link it right above. And another one, of course, is my personal assistant and my cross sister, Auto Posture. I'm gonna list that above. Auto Posture has some really great things that no other cross sister and automation system have coming out this year. And if you wanna increase your sales, which is in turn increasing your money, I highly recommend watching that video. Plus, I have been given a coupon for $5 off if you use Surf's Up Finds at checkout or the link on my link tree or at surfsupfinds.com. Now let's get into this fall haul. I'm gonna go over four categories with you. We're gonna go over some pants, tops, jackets, and I saved some shoes for later on in the video. Also, my favorite item will come in at the end. We're gonna start off with a few pair of pants. The reason I started off with these Adidas, same with Nike, are because they're on trend. And I highly recommend anything that's on trend, you list ASAP because you never know if it's gonna be out of trend by next week. Any Nike or Adidas lined, whether they're perforated like this or the cotton lined, are selling really well for me right now, right around the $30 mark on all platforms. These are Adidas. I picked these up between $5 and $10, just depending on what store wants to be fair with their prices. But I list these for around $30 and they sell within a month. All right, pay attention. This is super important. Have you subscribed and hit the like button? All right, just making sure. Carhartt is a brand that you really need to be careful with now. I have seen it flooded at Menards, at Lowe's, all over Ross, the discount stores, it's everywhere now. So I am very particular with my Carhartt. This is one of the lines of Carhartt I do pick up. It's Carhartt FR, you'll see that's flame resistant or flame retardant. Very good line to pick up. This is a good for the fall too, because I'm thinking like campfires and embers and everything, getting on people and not burning holes through them. These are really for welders, but FR Carhartt always sell well, always a pickup. Five, seven dollars, I flip them into the mid 20s. Before I get to this next item with Carhartt, I, it's not that I don't pick all of it up. I'm just really looking for those really heavy jackets. You'll see some things in here that I have. But yeah, some really heavy jackets, things like that. But the flannels and just the regular jeans and the shorts, I'm really not picking those up anymore. People are always asking me, what Levi's do you pick up? Usually it's made in the USA or certain type of lines. This is a 560. So not a 550, not a 505, 560. They have a balloon fit. They're really wide throughout the leg and then they kind of taper down. Really hot right now with the kids. These are what I pick up. They sell within a month. I pick them up for $7.99 and I sell them for around $27.99. I'm just super excited for this haul because there's so many good brands here. This is a brand that you might not see very often. You might never have heard of it, but it's called Ibex. I know Ibex are really weird. It has this little, I don't know if it's a goat symbol. This is a pair of women's pants, but usually they're in wool, almost always wool. But I actually rank Ibex over smart wool and over icebreakers as far as resale value. And also right now these wide legs are popular. So for these women pants, I think I paid $8 for these. I haven't looked up comps, but whenever I find Ibex for under $10, even if it has a flaw, I'm picking it up. As you know, my favorite brand, Polo Ralph Lauren. I knew these right away. I always look on the inside pocket right away. And then on the outside, it had a little Polo Ralph Lauren and Co. badge. But anytime I can find the khaki cargo pants with, you know, these buttons at the bottom and just any type of pockets, they always sell really well. These were only $5 which is a steal on these Polo Ralph Lauren pants. Again, these are lighter weight, almost like a paratrooper pant. But yeah, anytime you find Polo Ralph Lauren cargo pants, always a pickup for me, under $10. They sell in between 40 and upwards of 100. No better season than now to sell corduroy. Corduroy is probably my best type of pants that sell during the fall for obvious reasons, of course, in winter too. Polo Ralph Lauren is one of my favorite corduroys to pick up. This is a newer Polo Ralph Lauren, 
But the good thing about this one also is it's a very big waist. The bigger tends to seem better in Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a 50B, so 50 big when you're listing it for only $5. When I'm looking at corduroy, I really like the thicker corduroy. That's Polo Ralph Lauren, Brooks Brothers, LLB, and they all do really well for me. $5 into probably around $32.99. If you're new to the channel or you already follow me, you know I don't pick up a lot of women's clothes. I'm trying to get better. When a new car comes out, I'm trying to learn all the brands. I have gotten better. I will praise myself or give myself a pat on the back for being better, but I am not even good at all, to be honest. This brand right here, I do know, I picked this up in a top, A-Y-R, probably has an actual name to it, I, R, I, I don't know. But these are really wide leg pants, like unworn um, jeans, I should say. $8 is what I pay for them. I have no idea what these are gonna sell for. I'll probably put them in my whatnot with women's clothing because I just don't like women's clothing. Or I might list them, I don't know. I don't know how much they sell for, but this brand is definitely a pickup, A-Y-R. Everything else is gonna be men's for the most part. Men's golf apparel, especially in pants. Men's golf pants I sell year round. So I never stop listing these. Summer comfort, these are great. Only $5. These have come down a little bit, but I still sell them for around $30. I don't normally pick up seven for all mankind anymore. Unless the price is really cheap. Again, it all comes down to your buy cost, right? If you're new to reselling, again, you make your money when you pick up your item. So if you're buying something that sells for $20, you probably don't wanna spend 10, but if it's a dollar or two at a garage sale, it's probably worth the pickup. These are new with tags. So normally I don't pick up seven for mankind jeans, but new with tags for $7.99, obviously I'm gonna pick these up. They still sell these at Nordstrom's, MSRP is 178. Ain't no one selling these for 178. But yeah, seven for all mankind. I will tell you my favorite seven for all mankind Say it with me, Dojo Jeans. Dojo Jeans by the Women's Jeans, Super Flare. Those have always sold for me. I've been selling since 2016. Those have never gone out of style and they're hotter now than ever. Next pair of pants is a really, really thick, heavy duty Duluth. I don't think I've ever found one of these like double knee Duluth pants, trading pants, and these belt pockets or these belt buckles are super, not pockets, are belt buckles, what am I talking about? They're not even belt buckles, they're belt loops. Belt loops, these belt loops are super duper thick. You always will find the Duluth tag inside the pocket. 36 by 34, I didn't even look up the size, that's a great size. Good size in the waist, 36 is about perfect, and then 34 length is great. These, I have no idea how much I sell for. Usually I sell the Duluth Fireflex hose pants for around $20, $22, I'm guessing these will sell for around 30. We'll just find out and see. Okay, on to the tops. I told you I was gonna go through this pretty quickly, so we're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck. And this is all free information. I always show you this stuff. I just wanna let you guys know, I'm a true believer of learning for free. All of this stuff, you can learn for free. That's how I learned. The whole core to reselling is you can start from basically nothing. Selling stuff you don't use around your house and building a business from there without really investing much money at all. All this information you can get for free. Of course, if you want to buy a course, no problem with it, but you watch these videos like this for free and you're gonna get all the information you need to know. Polo Ralph Lauren, and I'm only gonna show one of these shirts. As you know, I list a ton of these, but black is a great color. In the fall, I'm looking for black, I'm looking for corduroy, I'm looking for elbow patches on these just plain Polo Ralph Lauren shirts. These are $5, I sell them for around 22. If you do find the corduroy or the elbow patches that are leather, they might be polyester, but they look like leather, those sell for around $30. Next item, super hot right now is vintage Izod, but more than that are these tennis sweaters. So these tennis sweaters, this is obviously a cardigan, so you have your buttons going down the middle. This is a men's, um, it has those lines down here, the lines across the sleeve. This one will probably sell for around $35, something like that. I only spent $5 on it, but let me show you what sells for even more. This is what you really wanna be on the lookout for. These tennis sweaters with this giant V-neck, almost like a slash, like, you know, like Miss Universal to wear. That's just what I think about. But um, I, not about her, but about like what I think about when I think about these sweaters. 
you know what I'm talking about. All right, $5. This sells for around 75 to be honest. And the better ones are actually Polo Ralph Lauren. If you can find these on Polo Ralph Lauren, they sell really well. This does have the alligator, which really helps the value. So it's the Izod Lacoste version. This is a great piece, 100% wool. I love when I find these pieces. Outdoor research, I did pay up for this. It was $10. But this is a brand you want to be on the lookout for, for sure. One of those outdoor brands you'll see at REI or a place like that. It just has an OR. I definitely, my first time finding one of these, I can remember that I passed it up. I found one of these with a cool shirt, I think. And I remember passing it up and then later on finding out what it was. I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I passed that up. I've done that so many times with so many different brands, but I definitely remember it with outdoor research. Anyways, this color is great for the fall. You want those olives, you want those greens. This will probably sell for around $30. I know this is a vest. You're not thinking fall, but let me show you. Peter Millar, right? But this is what's gonna get you. Notre Dame, any college symbol on anything, any college symbol right now in the fall I'm listing because kids are going back to school. College football is going on. Everyone thinks their team's gonna be the best. And then after that, college basketball is coming in. So anything college, I'm definitely listing in the fall. This is an extra large, it costs me $3.99. This will probably sell for around $32, being that it's Notre Dame and a well-known school. One of my favorite items to pick up, it's not like a home run, but I love these Polo Ralph Lauren denim shirts with this pocket. They always sell really well for me, like in the high 30s. I just don't find them as much as I used to. I paid $8 for this one. Like I said, these are really good. If you find, they have to be the denim ones, not the dark blue cotton uh, dress shirts, but the denim. They gotta feel like jeans, obviously. Really good pickup with those. Next is a brand, not necessarily this shirt is like a fall color or whatever, but it's a brand you wanna keep your eye out for. I find these uh, jackets often. It's called Relwin. Relwin's definitely a good brand um, to be on the lookout for. Write that one down. Take a mental note or screenshot of that little guy right there. There's another logo right there. I've never found a shirt. It was only $5, but this is one of those brands that you pick up almost no matter what. All right, let's get deeper into the fall. Like I said, there are Carhartt that I do pick up. These are men's overalls. Definitely pick these up every time. $8, $8 for these. I didn't even comp them out. I just know men's overalls by Carhartt sell well. These are something I do not see at Ross or at Lowe's. I do not see the overalls. Definitely a pickup Carhartt men's overalls. Again, I don't know the comps, but I'm guessing around like 35, 40. You guys can let me know. This brand you think would do well, but it actually really doesn't in the modern stuff. Winchester, like Beretta does really well. Winchester hunting stuff doesn't really do well, but this is vintage. So this is like the OG. This is a coverall. Camo is always good in the fall. You can always count on selling camo in the fall, whether it be stuff that's actually used out on in the fields or in the woods or wherever people go and hunt, um, or if it's just something for trendy and to wear on the streets. Um, this is a $10 purchase. I looked up comps in the store. These sell for around 50 bucks. Don't at me. Do not come at me with this one. Duluth Trading. I really don't like picking these flannels up as much anymore, but the problem is whenever I'm like, I don't want to sell this item, then one sells for me that I've had in my store for a long time. So I'm like, oh gosh, I'm torn. So one sold for me last week. It was a 2XL and this is a 2XL tall, even better. $5 flannel by Duluth. It has the colors to it. Again, for $5, flip it into like $18.99. For my business model, I want to make at least $10 profit after fees and everything. So I picked it up and it's gonna be easy for me to list. I'll just take pictures and I will sell similar from the item I just sold. Mountain Hardware, just like Outdoor Research, another good brand to pick up, not as good as Outdoor Research in my humble opinion. But yeah, Mountain Hardware, good brand. Men's, this is a newer one, you can tell by the tag. Uh, if you find these in Down, they're really good. Or if you find them in a Gore-Tex, this was $7.99, so I did pay up a little bit for this, but it is a full jacket, a little bit lightweight. My guess is gonna be like a $15, $20 profit, so like $27. Again, a polo shirt, but Ohio State, and Ohio State has a huge football following. So huge football following, whether they call it the O or the, I don't know, 
The U is Miami. Ohio State, I don't know. The Buckeyes. Ohio State's really good college. This is $5. This will sell for $20 all day long. Of course, you just want to make sure if it's white, you always want to look for stains. I'm not going to lie. I am 38. There have been some years going on since I've been 20, but I'm 38 going on 22. I'm not that old, but I do not know a lot of these like streetwear brands. I don't know. This one is called Steady Hands. It just looked like quality. It just looked like something, you know, like streetwear. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. And this is all embroidered. So what I do, I Google Lens this and it sells for around like $50. It was $5 at the thrift store. And also it had another little duder right there. So I knew probably something a little bit special. This is a good little pickup. So $5, maybe into 50, you guys are probably gonna be like, there's no way. I really don't know. I just know I saw some that sold for around 50. Here's another one. I did not find this exact sweater. This reminds me of Pendleton sweaters or the Pendleton blankets. If you guys know the vintage, like really famous Pendleton, they have those uh, lines just like this. Same brand, Steady Hands. Again, I've never found it. So maybe just keep it in the back of your mind and you'll find it sometime. $5. I didn't find a comp for this one, but I picked it up. I'm gonna take a chance. Carhartt again. Okay, Carhartt with an American flag. I know we have this like water recycle thing right here. That's okay, it's okay. This is a rain defender, a rain defender. So it's gonna defend from the rain. It's gonna be water repellent. Um, this was five bucks. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's probably why I picked it up, five bucks. Carhartt, again, this is another one I'd pick up. There's your uh, tag inside. Carhartt, Rain Defender, even though it has the American flag and all this other stuff on it, I'm not worried about it. This should sell for 25 or more, I'm guessing. I really don't need to talk much about this, but Lululemon, of course, is still a pickup. The reason I put this and curated it for you is because Lululemon men's stuff is still a pretty good pickup. I used to pick up everything Lululemon, not the case anymore. In fact, this week I left tank tops that were kind of nasty, some pants that had some pilling that were all women's. Those are some things I just don't pick up anymore, but men's, I always pick up. This was $5. I'd be surprised if I get more than 25 for it. Johnny O, I always talk in my lives. I do live packings, usually Monday mornings at 8.30, so if you're not subscribed and you wanna ask questions, come into those lives. Johnny O, I always talk about, I only really pick up in the polyester wicking kind, but these cotton, it might have some spandex in it too, but these cotton quarter zips do well for me. $5, it's a $10, $12 profit. Sell for like 22. You know how sometimes you're in the thrift store and you're thinking, do I wanna get this? It's a little expensive. Is there enough meat on the bones? How well will it sell? How quickly will it sell? This next item was that. It's a North Face. It does have that little newer North Face hit on the front. I call it a logo, but the kids call it a hit right there. And it was $10 and it's not a full jacket. It's like a half zip. So I was on the fence. I'm thinking $10, can I at least get 25 or 30 for it? I thought, yeah, I probably could with this fall color, definitely fall, winter. This will sell all the way through the winter. North Face Men's and it's a good size, size of large. So picked it up for 10, hopefully sell for around 27, 28. Either way, I'm not gonna lose money on it. This next brand is a brand you wanna keep your eye out for if you don't already know it. It's called Dale of Norway. I'm talking quietly like don't tell anybody except for everyone's gonna watch us. Dale of Norway, really good Nordic sweaters. This one, they have a collab with the Olympics. Um, I found a couple times the collab with the Olympics. This is a women's sweater. It's like a, it's pretty small. It's a medium. What I paid for this, I paid $5.99. I wasn't going to pass it up for $5.99. Um, being that it might be a little shrunk. So I might put it as like a small medium, but these sell for good money. If you find the right ones, they could sell for like 80 bucks. So, so soft. Peter Millar sweaters, quarter zips, always a pickup for me. I know Peter Millar has fallen off a little bit, but for $5 for a sweater, and I know this one has cashmere in it, it's just, come on now. You gotta be crazy not to pick that up. This will probably sell for around in the 30s. Let's stay in the fall groove and talk about what is on trend and what has been on trend and what probably will continue to be on trend for a long time. These Southwest style shirts are really good. This is Wrangler, a brand I really don't pick up very often unless it's vintage and it's like a thick cotton. This has that Aztec print all over it. It's got the pearl snap. Again, I do not pick up mini Wrangler. In fact, I probably pick up one out of every 
probably 500 pieces because I see the jeans and the shorts too, maybe even a thousand. But yeah, I don't pick up much Wrangler, but you wanna be on the lookout for these Aztec Pearl Snap thick cotton ones. Here we go, we have a Rough Rider by Circle T. I don't know if I found this or not. It doesn't sound familiar, but Rough Rider by Circle T. Check this thing out. Obviously, you know why I bought this. It's got one of these band collars, so there's no fold over collar. Check out these little like Indian nickel buttons. They're metal. Um, they're smaller than Indian nickel, so they're not like actual Indian nickel. And they, this was $5. This just like screams fall. This will sell year round, but such a good shirt for $5. I did not comp it out. This alone will sell on style. Again, I'll cross list it with Auto Posture on Depop in like a second. It'll probably sell over there super quick. I don't pick up a ton of Under Armour anymore. Even though the thrift stores think it's worth a million dollars, it's not. I find it at Ross. I found a new with tag polo shirt at Ross the other day. If you saw that short for $8.99. So if you're watching this thrift stores, Under Armour's not all that. But I will pick up some of it. This is obviously that fall color. The fall color um, quarter zips do sell well for me, as in like a bread and butter type of sale. These are $5. They sell for around $18.99, $20. Um, and this again is, this might be like that infrared. Yeah, so on the inside it says like infrared. Usually sells a little bit better than regular quarter zips, but really good color for the fall. Coming around back to the college stuff, let's go to the NFL. Again, especially early fall, get all that NFL stuff listed, especially when it's the Colts being the best team in the NFL. Sorry about you, at least we were when we had Peyton Manning. But still in my eyes, my favorite football team. Cold stuff, any NFL stuff you list right now, because I'm telling you, come later in September, October, especially November and December, most of the teams are not gonna be in the playoffs or at least half of them, and they're gonna suck, and people won't wanna be buying their clothing. So get them listed now, because everyone thinks their team's gonna do really, really well. It's the perfect time to list them at the beginning of the fall. This brand is a good, good brand, but it has come downhill just a little bit Obviously, I still pick it up. Actually, a buddy gave this to me, but this is Todd Snyder. A Todd Snyder cardigan. Any substantial Todd Snyder pieces do well. I really like Todd Snyder with uh, Champion. Have you guys found that before? But yeah, Todd Snyder, good. Cardigan. I didn't look up comps for this. Again, my friend just gave it to me. My guess is this will sell for like in the 30s, maybe 40. Do you guys know this brand? This is Alaskan Hard Gear. You're always going to look for this like Bear Paul. The flannels sell really well, um, but I wanted to bring the flannels up because it's fall. This is a Duluth brand, a little bit thicker. I don't know if it's a higher end brand of Duluth, but it's like a, they sell it at the Duluth stores and on their website. This was $5. This will sell for probably around 22, 25 bucks. All right, let's get into my favorite part, jackets. Nothing says fall and winter like jackets, especially if you live anywhere but Texas and Florida. Even Texas gets snow, right? I love jackets because they just sell for more money than polos and shorts. From now until February, my ASP, my average selling price, is always more than in the summer because these items just sell for more money. Let's start off with this Harrington jacket, Polo Ralph Lauren, always a pickup for me. They're, they're just like a bread and butter. Good. Oh, I just noticed this one has a little broken button. I'm not, not selling this. This will still sell. With that broken button, I'll probably list at around like $27.99, but these will sell for around $40 all day. You're going to look for the inside has that liner. Um, it's not usually a really thick liner, but it is lined. Polo Ralph Lauren, Harrington jackets, pick them up. There's a couple of this brand in here. This was a good one. I paid $10.99 for this brand. It's an Abercrombie and Fitch. I know. Abercrombie and Fitch doesn't sell. Some of the substantial pieces do really well for me. I have not found this one ever before. This is almost like a military jacket. You want to look for that huge Abercrombie and Fitch um, like logo or tag, whatever you call that. Really heavy with the jacket, the coat, the hood, um, these big old buttons, big old zipper. Definitely like uh, military style. This is men's. I did not look up comps. This was at a local thrift store, Mom and Pop, for $10.99. I know Abercrombie and Fitch. I know the substantial pieces sell really, really well. Cargo pants, cargo shorts, the jackets with a thick fur interior, and I'll let you know how this one does later on. This brand right here, Zero Restriction, is a hit or miss brand for me. 
But the reason I got it is because it has Gore-Tex. Anything with Gore-Tex is just money. Gore-Tex is whatever material fabric. It's basically like windproof, waterproof, all the above, really good quality. This jacket, I did not comp this out again because I've sold these in the past with the Gore-Tex, but my guess, even with this golf course logo, will probably sell for around like 40 bucks. I wouldn't be surprised. Love picking up these jackets. Do you guys know what this is just by looking at it? Let's see, I'll give you a second. So anytime you find corduroy on the collar, most of the time it's a barn jacket or a chore jacket. This isn't, but it's same idea. It just got the quilts in it. This is a barber. And it's actually a women's barber jacket. I'll show you the logo right here. Barber, really good brand to be on the lookout for. A lot of you guys might know it, might not. I pick up almost anything barber. This was, oh, I think 1099, just like that other one. Again, women's with the quilted, got to pick it up. When you look at Barber, you really, really, really want to find the waxed jackets. They might feel crunchy. They might stink a little bit. That's okay. That's what people are looking for. The Barber waxed jackets, that's what they're known for. Also, they have that little uh, zipper that looks just like that. Ariat vest. Um, I don't think this is down. Yeah, it's a polyester fill, but it's Ariat. has your little Ariat hit right there. Cannot go wrong with Ariat. Ariat's one of my favorite Western brands, $5.99. Again, I didn't have to look up comps. I just know with Ariat, $5.99, a jacket, puffer, or vest, it's going to be worth it. My guess is going to sell around $30. I have never found this brand before. Isn't that funny? There are brands here that I'm showing you I've never found before, and I thrift every single day pretty much for the past eight years. I've never found, well, I guess this brand probably wasn't around eight years ago, but it is Fear of God, Essentials, and then Fog, I don't know. So obviously Fog stands for Fear of God, but I don't know if it's a line by them. Um, but yeah, Fear of God, Essentials. I did comp this uh, really, really thick sweatshirt jacket out. It's got this like um, waffle line on the inside, really heavy. It does have a little um, like a grease stain there. I'm gonna wash it. Uh, but this was $5.99. I forget what the comps were. They weren't that great, like in the 40s um, and 50 for this style. So I definitely picked it up, but I was just excited to find a brand that I've been on the lookout for and I finally found it. Levi's trucker jackets, a lot like Carhartt, they're started to be flooded. If you go into a Ross or TJ Maxx or Burlington even, these are all over the place, which means they're at the discount stores, which means they're gonna be cheaper on eBay for the used ones. But if you can find the one, a lot of times they'll, you'll see the numbers just like that. Look for the numbers like that, the code like that. The made in the USA, anything Levi's is usually a pickup. This was $7.99 at my local Goodwill. We call these the marble tags that week, the marble tags. But yeah, this Levi trucker jacket, men's large, made in the USA. From I think I dated it from the early 90s, I believe. Good, good pickup. This will sell for around like 27, 30 bucks, maybe even a little bit more. I did throw in a blazer. This is the time of year that I list all my blazers and suits. I get them listed very, very quick. I actually list all my linen and cotton and unlined blazers throughout the summer and spring, but definitely like my darker suits, my wool suits, my tweed, all get listed in the fall. This is a Peter Millar. These don't actually sell as much as what you think they sell for, at least for me. They usually sell for around $60. Uh, but yeah, Peter Millar. Also, these are a little bit tricky. The inside pocket, way on the inside inside, is where you're gonna find the size tag. So this is a 40R, it's on the side pocket of the inside pocket. So that's where you find the size tag on these Peter Millar. Should be $7.99, yep, $7.99 until around $55.60. I was on the fence with this next item because it's a women's small, it's a Marma, which is a good brand, not the best. Again, I like finding it in like a Gore-Tex, this is down though. So Marmont down women's jacket and it was $7.99. I just couldn't pass on that. My guess it will probably sell for around like $30, $35. These next two jackets, I'm not sure if I've ever found in men's. This is a Theory, which is a Nordstrom's brand. Someone probably paid like $180, $150 for this. I'm sure the MSRP was something like 500 bucks. Um, but this is a Nordstrom's brand Theory. I don't buy a lot of Theory just because the resale value isn't great. But this is obviously like a heavy tweedy looking jacket. Got the like the Sherpa fur lining. Uh, it was $10. I did not look up comps again. 
You need to look up your comps, guys. I just have been doing it a long time. I kind of have an idea. I'm guessing this will sell for around 40 bucks. I have a women's that was similar, not as nice, that is either listed or has sold for around $50. So I'm thinking the same with this one. Right there with it was this kind of weird textured um, J. Crew. This is the J. Crew Ludlow Overcoat. Like really warm. Look at this thing. Really nice. J. Crew Ludlow. I don't even know the fabric. It's probably a wool. I don't know. But anything J. Crew Ludlow, as far as blazers, suits, jackets, coats, I'm picking it up. This again was $10. Got it at that same thrift store. My guess is once I lint roll this and get it all nice and pretty looking, it will probably sell for $80. I'm just guessing. Pendleton. I don't pick up much Pendleton unless it is wool. But this is a Pendleton chore barn jacket. It's thick, canvassy. These always sell for around $30 to $50, sometimes even more depending. This was $5.99. Of course, I'm gonna pick this up. Again, Pendleton like cotton stuff, I don't pick up anymore. Another barn jacket. Again, this is the theme for the fall. Find the denim, thick stuff. Find the barn jackets. These sell well. $15 I paid for this. This is probably my favorite brand of barn jackets that I find often. It's L.L. Bean. Again, like I said earlier, you're looking for that corduroy collar. Really good seller. A lot of times they're flannel lined. My guess is this will sell for around $55. Really good condition, like unworn. See how the cuffs can be flipped up too with the corduroy? Women sell really well too. So whenever I find L.L. Bean women's chore jackets, I pick them up just like I do with the men's. Patagonia Better Sweaters. Does it get any better? Patagonia better sweaters just do so well for me. Quarter zip, full zip, half zip, whatever they are. Um, this is $12. This will probably sell for around 40 on eBay. Patagonia Vintage. This isn't the prettiest thing, but Patagonia Vintage stuff just sells really well. This is made in the USA. Clearly it says it on the tag. First thing it says, XL made in the USA. Um, vintage Patagonia, just like a fur line. Nothing really pretty again, but fall color. And it was only, let me see, I think it was $12. Yeah, $12. I'm not passing that up. Vintage Patagonia sells pretty well. Some vintage Patagonia can sell for crazy money. Go on to eBay, look up sold comps, and look up vintage Patagonia used, price at highest to lowest, and you're going to be shocked. North Face Down Puffers always do really well, especially in the down vest. This was $12. It has the 700 fill. If you don't already know by now, the higher the number on down, the better quality, the more fill, and it's usually worth more money. Uh, this has a, a hood that comes out too, so that's kind of nice. This was $12, $12 for these. This will probably sell for around like 60, 50 or 60 bucks. Definitely a good pickup. Polo Ralph Lauren, another jacket. Any Polo Ralph Lauren jacket, just like the pants, anything unique sells well. This has a little pocket on the sleeve. Just regular cotton polo Ralph Lauren has a newer tag. Uh, this was $5.99. Should sell this around $35, $40. Bucks. I get this question a lot. It might be like a top 10 question I get on my lives. Do I pick up Woolrich? All Woolrich. What do I pick up? I like picking up Woolrich when it is wool, especially vintage wool. If I'm finding cotton wool rich, I don't pick it up. If I'm finding like newer jacket that's nothing like no down, no wool, I'm usually not picking it up. This is buffalo plaid. The best wool rich, in my opinion, are the jackets that are buffalo plaid. You have your red and black classic plaid pattern. And this is a really vintage tag. I have no idea what year this is from. I'll find it out when I'm listing it. Um, but this was $5.99. Definitely a good pickup. It's not a really, really heavy duty coat, but it is a full zip jacket with that little pocket up top. Again, this will sell for north of 50. I've sold some of the jackets for like 180 before. So yes, wool rich, wool, I do pick up. Whatever, last jacket, I'm gonna show you a few pair of shoes and then my favorite item that I got this week. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch. Again, I was on the fence with this one. Probably wasted too much time thinking about getting it. Has the big patch here on the back. But Abercrombie & Fitch men's XL denim trucker jacket. I got it because, I think this is a men's. Uh, yeah, this is a men's, the way the buttons are. I got it because denim is just hot right now, especially in the fall. Again, denim I usually think of a spring thing, but for some reason this fall, I've been seeing all the trends. Thanks for some of the followers are pointing it out to me. 
that denim is in. So for $6, I thought I'd pick it up. Again, I'm not gonna lose money on it. And if you don't try new things, you're not gonna learn new things. We're gonna talk about four types of shoes really, really quickly. I did get a pair of Kobe's. Obviously, Kobe's are a good pickup. You just have to look up the model number and make sure they're authentic. I wanna talk about cleats. Cleats are usually, they can be good. Soccer cleats, especially, especially these Copas. These Copas always do well in used or new condition. These were brand new with tags. And guess how much I paid for them? 30 dollars so a lot of people probably would not pick these up for 30 bucks but these will sell for right around 100 definitely picking them up i just know this type of um, soccer cleat because i played soccer and these have been around for a long long time and they're still very popular to this day so men's adidas copa soccer cleats on clouds obviously you know about on clouds these are in really good condition black they even have like the little like tag in the sole um, but I just want to make this a little call out. They are st starting to sell on clouds at places I think like Sam's Club and Costco. You can let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, they've been selling them there. So be careful. You might start seeing the prices of these come down. The black on black are probably not a pair they sell just because black is such a popular color. But going to sell these for probably around 50 bucks or so. Alan Edmond. Alan Edmond, when I first started reselling, was always a pickup. Not the case anymore. I always check out the, the model. This was a Boulder. These were $10. Even for $10, I checked out the model. I don't pick up all of them, um, but these were worth it. And they're a 9E, 9.5E, so they're wide. Wide shoes always end up doing better. A suede leather, good condition. Don't have to clean them. Just put a shoe tree in them and list them. This is a good boot for the fall, a chukka boot. This is suede. It does have a little bit of stuff right here. This boot is a Thursday boot. Has the price on the bottom. I paid $9.99 for these, but Thursdays always do pretty well. This being a chukka in the fall, I'm guessing this will sell between like $60 and $70. Pretty good pickup with these Thursday boots. Now for my favorite piece that I found. This Kuji sweater. Check this thing out. Pink Kuji sweater, quarter zip. Number one, I don't find Kuji's very often. I think I found like five. This might be like my sixth. Kuji large. I've never found one quarter zip and I've never found a pink. I think pink might be my new color. I don't know. But the thing is, I did pay up for this. This was not a Goodwill find. Goodwill. I haven't found a, a Kuji at Goodwill for over a year. I paid $95. No, actually I paid 20% off $95 on this. So I paid around like 80 bucks for this Kuji. You know what? For me, it's just one of those things where I have to get it. I can't pass it up. Minimum, I think like 125. So not a great profit or anything. But I mean, who's going to pass up a Kuji? This thing is sick. I might even be putting it like in the background of some of my videos just because it's just so cool. This might not look super folly, but those are the fall pieces that I thrifted over the past couple of weeks that I want to show you. Of course, I have a ton of spring and summer stuff I didn't show you, but I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.